All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's little video is going to be about, uh, as you see, the obviously you have seen the um, the title, and what had happened was. I am an electrician by trade, so I was overdoing um, a little like uh, moonlighting, if you will, side work, not for money, just to help out people. And anyway, this guy and I was talking, and we hadn't seen each other for a long time. And he was like, you know, blah blah blah, like you, you know, gain some weight, you know, you look older, you know how it goes. And anyway, I probably hadn't seen each other for like 15 years. And he was talking to me, you know, about you know just life in general, how he's retired enjoying life and I thought it was pretty cool well anyway I was telling him where I lived and um, he was like uh, the only house that I know uh, in that area is where a little retarded girl lives and naturally my world stopped for a quick second and I was kinda like blown away I was like wow but but so I, I, that mentality, that age group, you know, probably I would say 60 and above, you know, that's where I didn't say, oh, you son of a gun, you, you know, don't you say that about my daughter, blah, 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 blah. Now, is she retarded? No. Okay, a lot of people probably wonder that, especially people that know me. Um, but her diagnosis is cerebral palsy, so they, see, Cerebral palsy is classified as anything to do with the brain. So it's a huge, broad spectrum of, you know, brain um, problems. So just because she has cerebral palsy, you know, some people with cerebral palsy can walk around, can live on their own, can talk, can do this. My daughter cannot. She cannot walk all by herself. She can walk, but not by herself. And she talks very minimal, but she makes a lot of sounds. And we as parents, and if you're watching this and you have a, a daughter or son, you know those sounds and what they mean. So anyway, when he said that, like I said, it kind of caught me off guard. I was like, um, yeah, and I, immediately I said, you know, yeah, that's my daughter. Now, had he been 30, 40, like my age, I would not have been okay with that. But I know that, that age group that's their mentality and it's okay you know he didn't break stride he wasn't like oh, i shouldn't have said that you know because then then i would have been like maybe i would have changed my tune and said you know well you know something different but anyway so the reason why i'm doing this video is you know just because you know somebody that looks different or acts different or has autism or you know down syndrome that doesn't mean they're retarded <laughs> when they classify that um that retarded uh, classification that is such a broad spectrum okay um, but you know anyway I just want to make this aware uh, of people that are afraid to ask me because there are a lot of my friends that you know they ask questions that I'm sure they want to know well is she she's not okay um, now if you come talk to her would she say hey how you doing so and so no but she would know you I mean and she, and you know anyway so that's not really about my daughter it's just about the word in general you know so my advice to anybody who um sees anybody with a disability uh, whether that be in a wheelchair crutches or acts different and talks loud and can't be in society can't be around a lot of people you know don't don't be afraid to talk to them. That's that's one thing I want to say because, you know, those some of those people, especially my daughter, they actually, they may not immediately give you that satisfaction of, oh, hey, hey, you're talking to me. But trust me, it makes their day. It makes my daughter's day a lot, especially when people get down, spider crawling me, get down and actually talk to them or talk to her and, you know, acknowledges her, you know, and, you know, comes down on her level, which I mean, because she's in a wheelchair. So anyway, you know, all through high school and even today, for as long as I can remember, you know, I have never treated anybody with a handicap any different. So my, my I guess what I'm trying to say is don't use that word. A lot of people use that very loosely, the word retarded. Um, I have a lot of friends even now and I don't say anything to them. 15 years ago, I probably would have, but you know, they'll say, oh, that's so retarded, you know, and it's just second nature to them. But 
it may hurt somebody's feelings because 15 years ago it would hurt my feelings and i would have said something to them believe me i've said many things to many people just for saying that so you know keep that in mind when you're out and about in public you know and and you know people are saying oh look at that that's so retarded because guys that's a hurtful word just like you know hate it's a strong word retarded is a very strong word hate strong word just like the n-word is a very strong word you know it is what it is i mean you know unfortunately that's the way it is you know and uh you don't know you may catch somebody not me because i can honestly tell you not me or my or my wife but you may catch somebody on the wrong day and say that word and who knows what they'll do but anyway you know don't be afraid to talk and ask especially don't be afraid to ask anybody um you know if, if their child has you know autism or if their child is just looks different just ask them because i'll tell you what people ask me we we don't love that but <laughs> we respect the, those people because they're not just like staring as we walk by because you know who wants that that that's worse than saying retarded i think but you know don't be afraid don't be afraid to ask questions guys so i just want to say this you know everybody's different everybody has challenges everybody has something going on in their life don't single anybody out with that word you know choose your words wisely you know and for me i can honestly say that anybody who makes fun of anybody that says that I'm the first one to correct them, okay? Like, you'll see these kids. Kids are worse, obviously. They'll say, oh, I'm retarded. Well, you know, I'm going to tell you straight up, I will correct you right now, okay? Because that shit ain't funny to nobody. Not me, not my wife, not that person that's um, handicapped or whatever. So, anyway, guys, uh, be nice to one another because you, you don't know nobody's battles. You don't know what they're going through. And uh, anyway, that's all I want to say today, guys. And uh, like I say, you know, don't be mad at somebody that's way older than you that may say that because it, as the time goes on, years from now, you probably won't see that as much. But like I said, he was 77, I think he said. And so, you know you got to understand i mean i just put myself you know back in his when he was younger when that wasn't you know where there wasn't a lot of handicapped people then so anyway that's all i gotta say today guys if you like what you see like and subscribe god bless and we'll see you on the next one have a great day